Hi, it's Anne Emery. I want to share a before and after data visualization makeover with you. This is the before version. I'll show you the after version in a minute. Now for some context, every year I give dozens of workshops and webinars and big conference keynotes and talks, which means that I get dozens of workshop evaluation surveys, just like this one. This four page report is from a dashboard design workshop that I gave at a conference last fall. After my sessions, the organizers either send around a link to an electronic survey or they use paper and pencil surveys and then people just, you know, circle their responses and we put them in an envelope and all the surveys get scanned. That's what we did in this situation. Now, I'm really grateful that that, that scanning software exists because imagine how much time it saves. It would be a huge waste of time to have to manually enter all of those surveys. But the survey software tools need a makeover. They need an upgrade. They need to be brought into the 21st century with what we know about graphic design and brain science. Let's zoom in and look at this before version in all of its beautiful detail. The software's default design, it drives me crazy for a couple of reasons. So first of all, it's really dense and cluttered. This is straightforward information. It's just how people responded to a survey, but the dense design makes the information look more complicated than it really is. I also wanted to breathe some life into the fonts and colors. Here's the after version. It looks really, really different. Let's talk about some of those intentional edits in more detail. I decluttered the page. I removed all of those unnecessary outlines. I kept the horizontal lines so that you could read across the page, but I intentionally changed the color of the ink from black to gray so that they didn't compete with the graphs for attention. I applied color strategically. You can see the heading section is in one color followed by the main body of the report and then there's another chapter of the report later on. The colors signal that new content is beginning, so it helps the reader feel like the report's not just like running on and on and on for multiple pages. It feels more manageable with just a few chunks of information. I added icons because there's research showing that icons make your graphs more memorable. And finally, I applied a text hierarchy. The title is largest, followed by the headings, followed by the survey questions, followed by the body font, which is gray and size 11. The text hierarchy tells your reader which information is the most important, the top of the food chain, and so on. It makes the information more organized so they can follow it and see the different sections. Here's the full after version too. You can see the open-ended survey feedback in turquoise. That's the third section. I'll link to the full before and after makeover so you can examine it in more detail and look over it a little bit slower at your own pace. Enjoy.